walked through on Thursday and Friday was good and I showed today the guys came to work and made big plays. Yeah, Jordan, I'm, actually, I wanted to ask both of you, uh, Chubba, too, the, the touchdown to Jordan Young. Maybe, Chubba, you can talk us through, you know, just how cool it was to be throwing touchdowns in a game again. And then, Jordan, Keyshawn Helton on that play sprints from the sideline and jumps on Jordan Young as if he's won a game in a national championship. What does that say about Keyshawn as a teammate? And maybe as Jordan Young as a teammate um, for the, the as happy the team was to celebrate with him? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, so I told JY, uh, Jordan Young, I told him, if I get in the game, I'm going to try to get you a touchdown. And he's like, all right, let's do it. And uh, Keyshawn was right there, and he was super pumped to hear that. He's like, he's like, give, give him a touchdown, Chubb. I was like, yes, sir, I'm going to try. So well, after I threw the touchdown to JY, uh, Keyshawn was super pumped up. And uh, those two are, like, super uh, tight and just they love each other. So after they saw me throw him one and he caught it, and uh, JY was super pumped, and so was Keyshawn. Yeah, just building that on. It just shows what type of team we're becoming. Uh, we're brothers. Last year, you would not see that at all. Um, guys like seeing other guys making plays. Um, and that's what's so special about this stuff. Um, it's a team game, and we're a team for once. It feels like a team this year. It's a bunch of guys that just love each other that will do whatever the guy next to them, and it's really special. On to Brendan. Jordan, f following up on that, I guess what, what's – been the biggest difference the last few weeks you guys are off 0 and 4 now won three games in a row what has there been a discernible change at all that you've seen from the team i can't i mean guys all the whole year the guys came to work every single day so i'm not gonna say it's about the work at all i think it's a little bit of the mindset thing just having confidence in yourself getting used to winning and i think we're getting used to winning right now we know how it feels to win and we know how it feels to lose too and i don't think we want that feeling anymore so i think the guys are just trying to do the little things, the little things that can help us come in on a Saturday and do the little, um, do like fundamentals right, technique right, just little things like that. And I think that's what's changing everything. Uh, Chuba, I know how challenging last year was for you with missing as much time as you did, getting as little time in practice and in games. I guess how satisfying has this year been getting kind of the extensive time in practice and then getting to come do it in the game today? Uh, yes, sir. I'm super blessed. You know, last time I played a football game was against NC State last year. And after that, I had to get surgery. So I was super bummed out about that. So this was my first game uh, coming back and getting some reps. And so I was just super excited. And I, I just can't thank God enough for that opportunity. And uh, just everyone around me has been supporting me. And just I'm just glad to be healthy and be back and just practicing and just getting back in the swing of everything. Go to Ira. On that note, Chubba, uh, you know, you did get to play some last year, but but when you got to play this time, how much more confident were you, were you in just in terms of knowing exactly what you're doing and being comfortable? Oh, uh, yeah, this year I'm, I'm so much – I felt way more comfortable uh, today getting in there. Uh, I just felt like I knew the game plan way better because uh, going through the week, all the quarterbacks were always asking each other questions, making sure we're locked in. And I feel like this year I've been just more locked in. and uh, I've matured more in a year, I feel like, uh, the football aspect of it. So. Compared to last year, I feel like I have my, my head on the, on the right track for this game. Chubba, when we spoke to, to Coach Norvell earlier, he talked about the way both McKenzie and then Jordan uh, have worked with you and, and Tate and how supportive they've been. Can you talk about what those two guys have, have meant to you? And then specifically right before you go in the game, look like McKenzie uh -huh. went over and said something to you. Uh, can you share, I guess, what, what his message was before you got in the game? Yeah, uh, Mackenzie, uh, I guess he, he talked to Coach Norvell, and he wanted uh, me and Tate and the old guys to get some reps, so I can't thank him enough for that. I really appreciate that. And uh, Mackenzie wants nothing but the best for me, Jordan, uh, Tate, whoever gets in the game. Uh, Mackenzie is just super positive. And, uh, Jordan and Mackenzie are, have been awesome. They always help me out. Every time I have a question, they, they help me out. So I really look up to both of them. And uh, Jordan and Mackenzie also help uh, Tate out and just everyone out. So i uh, super blessed to have them on there. Carry. Jordan, you talked about how this feels like a team game. How much is that reflected in the fact that you had five players score on the ground and then two different through the air? I mean, Chubba threw all the uh, touchdowns today. Does that mean something overall in the grand scheme? Uh, it's the greatest feeling. Just seeing, just seeing your teammates 
succeed. It's really special. And what, sitting on the sideline, watching Chubba throw a touchdown, and I was more happy about his touchdown than my touchdown. Like, I've been happy in a long time. Um, just seeing the guys succeed is so awesome to me because you see how hard they work in the off season. Um, the ups and downs that they go through. You see the, all the your inside. So we see all the inside stuff, like how people come in some days and not feeling well. It's just it's so great to see people smile. It, it makes me very happy. Going to Ira. <clears throat> Jordan, I was going to ask you about two other teammates. Um, L LT hasn't really had the, the 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 numbers that he had last year, but, but to get to see him break off some runs today, and then also on the other side of the ball, Jarvis Brownlee's had some up and downs. Uh, how much did you enjoy seeing him get that pick six? Oh, that was a great feeling for sure. Um, LT first. I mean, that's a guy that comes in the work every single day. You never see him holding his head down. That's that's a special trait to have. I mean. Just always staying steady, not letting anything get in your head. It's, it's really awesome to see these. He hasn't gotten as much touches as he did last year. He's a really special player, and I think he's going to continue to grow. And he's in, he's going to be playing on Sundays for sure. He's a special player. And Jarvis, he comes to work every single day. Uh, he's a big talker, but he backs it up and he comes to work. And when he makes a mistake, he lets us know when he makes a mistake. So it's awesome to have him both on my team. Anything else? All right, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you.